Joining us there at the scene at Myers Lake, the mother of 10-year-old Lyric is with us, Misty Cook Morrissey. Also with me, Wilma Cook, the missing girl's grandmother. Ladies, thank you for being with us. Thank you for having us. First out to Lyric's mother, 10-year-old Lyric, everyone, out riding bikes with her cousin, her 8-year-old cousin, when they seemingly just vanish into thin air and right now asking for your help is Lyric's mother, Misty Cook Morrissey. Misty, thank you for being with us. Yes, thank you. Misty, that day when she goes missing, let's take it from the top. What happens starting in the morning? Um, I left for work at 8.30 a.m. Uh, she gave me a hug and a kiss and told me she'd text me and let me know um, when I got off of work where she would be, either at Heather's um, in Evansdale or back at our mother's home in Waterloo. I left for work um, at 2 o'clock. My mother, Lyric's grandma, called and said she couldn't find them. They'd been on a bike ride and, you know, to come directly to Heather's home. I only work just up the street. I came directly there. Um, my mom had been driving around looking for them. Uh, we stood in the yard and talked for a few minutes. Heather pulled up, had not been able to find them. It was about 2.20, 2.30 uh, p.m., and so Heather said, I'm going to the police station. And that's when she went to the Evansdale PD to involve them. Now, Ms. Cook Morrissey, you work not too far away. Where do you work? I work at uh, Casey's. It's a, a gas station general store, um, which is just a couple of miles up the road from where my sister lives. Ms. Cook Morrissey, where would the girls typically ride their bikes? And listen, you're speaking to somebody when we grew up, we could get on our bikes and ride until it was supper time, and that was okay. And in your area, it's a very, very low crime rate. It's a lot of rural, wooded area where you'd think girls would be safe. So. Tell me, what's their normal bike route, or do they even have a normal bike route? Um, I don't think they have a normal bike route, but they're, they are not allowed to just ride freely um, for hours or until dark. They do have a little bit of freedom, so they're allowed to go, you know, maybe two or three blocks away and stay within those blocks. Um, an hour check back in is kind of the... Um, standard that we hold with them and mostly they stick with it so it's it was very surprising to see that they had um, come this far if indeed they did you know ride this far had they ever ridden around Myers Lake before um, to my understanding no um, I'm not sure I don't think so it's quite a bit of ways did Lyric have a cell phone She has a cell phone that was at my mother's, so she didn't have one on her, no. Now joining me, Wilma Cook, the grandmother. Wilma Cook, thank you for being with us. You're welcome. Miss Cook, tell me what you saw that day, the day the girls go missing. Well, I took her from my house. I live in Waterloo, and her mom left for work. She rode with me to Heather's house, my other daughter, in Evansdale. And I go there every day for four or five hours, and she always goes with me And because Heather is not well, and she has four little kids. And uh, we did a daily routine that day at, you know, in her house doing things, eating breakfast and all that stuff. And so it was at 11.30, they asked me if they could go for a short bike ride, and I said yes. And they've done this millions of times. And they've never, never went that far. I could go outside and yell their names, and they would eventually hear me. And this day, they just didn't come back. And so Kelly, Elizabeth's brother, he's 12. I hopped in my car because the dad came home, and I went searching Elk Run. 
Uh, we were down by Myers Lake. We drove all over to every little park in Evansdale, Elk Run, every me- mentionable place, downtown area, and we couldn't find nobody. And that's when Heather went to the cops. To Misty Cook Morrissey, this is Lyric's mom. What is your message tonight, Misty? Um, Be on the lookout. Look for our kids. Look for anything that's strange. Keep your eyes open. Um, And then definitely contact the police if you see that. Um, That's our message. We just want everybody to get involved. And um, the more coverage we can get, the more people we have out there with their eyes open, the better. And to you, the grandmother, Wilma Cook, what is your message tonight? I just want my kids home, my grandkids. I want everybody to try to find them. I want them alive. I want them back home with me. Uh, I want to thank everybody for everybody's help out there. They've been just fabulous, all the friends and the churches and everything. Wilma, when you saw them ride away that day, what was your last image of them? Just the normal image. Don't be gone very long. And we realized they left at 11.30. By 12.30, we were not happy because they weren't back. And that's when Kelly, my 12-year-old grandson from Heather's house, the dad was home, so we went searching right away. And by 2 o'clock, Heather couldn't find him either. So she went straight to the police station and the police went out right away.